It's the WP Minute. Support independent WordPress news like this. Join the Slack membership or purchase a classified listing in the weekly newsletter at the WPMinute.com slash support. You know how it goes. Everything I mentioned here will be linked up in the newsletter and the blog post. Check out the WPMinute.com for the links. March 28th was supposed to mark the release of WordPress 6.2, but a date formatting bug has delayed release for a day. The new target is Wednesday, March 29th at 1 p.m. Eastern. And by the time you're listening to this, you probably already have it installed. The issue could potentially impact core features like date-based permalinks, but it might also negatively affect other functionality that relies on the current date. Think event bookings and e-commerce transactions. Over at the WP Tavern, Sarah Gooding provided a summary of the issue and the ensuing discussion it stirred among developers. When WordPress 6.2 is released, was released, you'll probably find plenty of new features to experiment with. The block and site editors will receive a boost with the style book, support for sticky blocks, and an easier to use navigation block. For more details on WordPress 6.2, check out the official field guide and a handy reference provided by Dan Noss over at iThemes. Links you shouldn't miss. WordPress developers are starting to implement artificial intelligence into their products and using it to write code. That has raised a few few concerns. Last week, we reported on the WordPress plugin review team's reminder that AI-generated code must be GPL compatible. Sarah Gooding recently dove further into the subject at WP Tavern. Even though we're in the early stages of this AI revolution, Gooding says it's not too early to establish some best practices for using code generators. The ever-popular Yoast SEO plugin is looking to reduce the web's carbon footprint. This week, they integrated their crawler optimization feature into the free version of the plugin. The WP Minutes' Eric Karkovac spoke with Yoast Taco Verdenscott about the feature and how bot traffic negatively impacts the environment. Master WP's Rob Howard published a look at WordPress plugin pricing over a six-month period. Howard tracked a handful of popular plugins by taking daily screenshots of their pricing pages. The report shows that some plugins may be using deceptive pricing practices, for instance, stating that a product is on sale when it may have never been sold at the quoted regular price. Howard also shared some disagreement with the WP Minute's recent editorial regarding the tactics used by development firm Awesome Motive. WordPress developer and core contributor Nick Diego recently announced that his block visibility plugin is now completely free. As of version 3.0, all premium features have been merged into the free version. Be on the lookout for more coverage of this story from the WP Minute. From the grab bag, now it's time to take a look at some other interesting topics shared by our contributors. Gutenberg project head Matthias Ventura has outlined the next phase of development, collaboration. Development firm iThemes is set for a rebrand. They recently posted a teaser video on Twitter and are set to make an announcement in the near future. The WordPress community team has shared highlights from its contributor working group inaugural mentorship chat. The group's focus is to develop a project-wide mentorship program. Looking for a new block theme to experiment with? Mike McAllister of tutorial site Ollie has released a free theme of the same name. New members this week, Anna Mika Bovalet. Follow at Bovalet on Twitter. If you're not a member yet, go to the WPMinute.com slash support to join. Thanks to all of the members who shared these links today, Jeff Chandler and Courtney Robertson. Thanks to you, dear listener, for tuning into your favorite five minutes of WordPress news every Wednesday. Sorry it was late. I was sick as a dog yesterday and still not feeling that well. Today, you can support independent content like this by purchasing us a digital coffee at the WPMinute.com slash Support, join that link squad for $79 a year. is the best way to support the show. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, please share it wherever you do social media and jump on the mailing list at the WPMinute.com. <laughs> <laughs>